Welcome everyone to a 1v1 quarterfinal matchup. We've got Zanxus himself taking on Sardonic Jester. And I also have my co-caster here with me. Some poor choices. Hello. You unfortunately have to listen to his voice. Yep, I may not play this game anymore, but I'm still here to cast. Sorry. Doing that as a favor to the community. Because I know Jester how awesome I am. Double Mephisto packed. Yeah, I thought I heard one that wasn't yours or mine. Uh, Jester already losing in that life trade game, which is not a good place to be in against Zanxus. Well, he clearly wants to put down an Enviro, but the bridge is so hard are to peel up. life off of. Uh, he's, he's knocking him down now, but again, you're running around with four aura versus a very stacked up plus two Zanxus at six. Uh, we'll see if that Mephesto plan works out. He's about to get the soft hang out. Oh, no, nope, he bails on it. Still doing a good job of keeping some space, though. Thanks has got that plus two reincarnation. Yeah, that thing's like, ready to smash. Whatever he's trying to do is uh, not going to matter. No. <laughs> I'm guessing he's going to he... jump. What, what, or there's no reason to break that one. There's no need. No. I mean, if, if Zanxus was a jumper, I guess maybe because you can use that one to do the tree jump, but can't cartwheel up that route unless Sandal wants to tell me different. Um, <laughs> maybe he just likes the symmetry of it. I don't know. What's he doing? Oh, he's so dead at the moment. Um, but yeah, he's way down in that life trade, uh, facing huge early aggression. Just eating these rians. Zanxus like, is in a very comfortable spot right now. He can, he's got shields that he doesn't even really need. At least lay the environmental. Don't do me like this. At this point, even if it's only to buy yourself 30 seconds. Here we go. Or Sanctuary. That's exactly what he's, he's laying it just so he can dig for a sec. Unless he can launch that double rein, that's going to be very hard to hurt a cartwheeler with by itself. Thanks to Sweet Snow Time picking it up. Still has his plus it's a forest two. Sanctuary deck, where are all the good shields, man? Surely jest. Low hanging fruit choices. That's it. Speaking forest of sanctuary. low hanging fruit. Impotent. I, I mean. It was an inch. I don't know why he went for that extra break. The little things like that are not going to get you there. Um, but it's a shame because I'm sure there was way more going on in that deck than we got to see. But we will never know what he was trying to pull off. Well, I mean, we know he was trying to pull off a four sanctuary combo. It really only works one way. I mean, there, there's like two or three different skills he could have thrown in there. It would be working uh, pretty well. Uh, Zanxus would have had to find a way to negate his own stats. I was going to say that yeah, that plus two would have gone from being very helpful to absolutely destruct, destroying him. Yeah, He likely could have gotten rid of his own stats and after that health deficit, you know, be tough to come back from. But yeah, you, you go down negative six, um, I guess you got fairly unlucky that you couldn't get the bridge pre-broken, but uh, I mean, if if he had a jump or a levitate or a way to get up there, he wasn't using it. Yeah. That too. Because you could have, if it was in his hand, I'm sure he would have just eaten the damage to try to get up there early. Yeah, he could have, instead of jumping down that one time too, he could have just shot the bridge behind him and then used the railing to block the reincarnation. Zanxus can't jump up yeah. to fire it because he's a cartwheeler, so all you have to do is stand still. I mean, hindsight being what it is, but still. And I'm still faster Shit. than you. Again, something that you don't need to brag about, and we all already know. Um, 
luckily for Zanxus though, the jump pads are around. That kind of does give a extra cartwheeler <laughs> mobility. Zanxus just like doesn't even move away from that. Oh, he does at least. He eats eat. a nice four damage. He eats. He the gets willow. his. Uh, That's a gets guard. Gets the stat reverse off. But Jester is not playing around with all the crazy enviros this time. Goes in for some nice balanced anti cartwheeler attacks. Gets some some easy damage. See what else he brings. And unfortunately, I was dumb enough to kill myself in a portal. So that is all I can hear. Yeah, I made that mistake in uh, Ska Boss versus War Dog, the final game. Oh, that Willow. I don't know what angle you guys are watching that from, but I saw that Willow literally do a circle to catch Zanxus in the back. Oh, hey, Jester, the shield great too. lightning sword. He's in a very good spot here. Zanxus with the Enviro. Gotta be careful, though. Zanxus has Jester a stimulator with the fortress. on. Yeah, a couple big hits, and this game flips right around, especially if that's a Gehenna. What's the other green here? Is he gonna double stim? No. Oh, oh he did. Oh, wow. Did he copy my deck? Maybe, but minus six is gonna be pretty... Pretty intense. What Enviro would you run with this? Opti? What's the yellows? He's gonna hang. So he can use his Enviro, which is not. I mean, unless he can get. Yeah, there we go. Memory Labs. Well, I guess that's gonna be a super powerful Rian. Not to mention and, uh, he's got. I'm sure he's got Agonies in there. Then if he's gonna. And Sardonic doesn't have help. the Photon. With this deck versus without a photon barrier, but he's still very. He can't spam anything. I mean, that reincarnation hits for seven. He hasn't got to spam. I mean, we've got at least one fortress block. <laughs> you can, if you just keep digging through your deck for some shields. I think that's a three school carefully. arsenal, too. Watch that aura regen. That's painful. Uh, it's painful, yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say that aura regen gives me anxiety. Um,. You're going to attack once every 60 seconds or something like that. That said, good, a good oh re here goodness, there. That's I'd all be you careful. need. I'd rather take the lightning sword hit than to tumble off. I I think Jester, if he could just get one or two good attacks. I don't know what he's holding on to. What else purple. is in here? Okay, so we've seen the, the Memory Labs, Mephisto's reincarnation. That deal. Where is the... Oh, jeez. Don't oh. go the side. He's just running. Running for his life. Chester burnt through what, his attacks. What else is in there? Where are the agonies? Through. I guess he did He's get popped He's only got five skills left. He, he was getting popped, but there's got to be something still on deck. We can see it's not Aura. Or oh, unless that was your deck, maybe it is Aura. Chester's analyzing well, no, the Enviro, but The there's... one that I've been running is a single school nature. Not a no easy way up there. Yeah, I don't think this is a direct. Uh, maybe it's a, a a nod to yours, but definitely not a rip off. Nope. Um, it's hard hitting, but Jester's doing the right thing. He's using natural defenses and angles. Um, don't know what he's going to dig for to turn this around, though. But he really only needs one or two hits. Oh. He's got his own Rian. That's going to be huge. Yeah. That should be game with his own Rian. Unless Zanxus can... If he just spams the double Rian, that's going to take some pretty precise cartwheeling. Bullet of fire as well. Uh, it's a good idea to combo. Oh, he took the Rian! Oh. <laughs> oh, snap! Oh. And a Purify, but and there's an orb. There's an orb on deck, but that helps Sardonic still. Was, yeah. I mean, not that he needed the boost. I guess the aura regen footer probably was better. But Zanxus might be out. He might not have any attacks left. Sardonic can just throw a couple Rians at his leisure. I don't know why he's still digging, though. Like, get up there and just start pestering him. You don't know that Zanxus doesn't have a, another Rian in his spawn. Don't give him time to look for it. What's the point of the heat? That was, yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> you don't need damage. You need aura. Just spam two Rians. Rian, Rian. 
That's all you need to do. Go do it now. I think Zanxus only has the yellows. Yeah. I mean, it, it looks like there's that one castle That or he's going to try and see. draw him in. There's, there's no yellows you really need to be afraid of. You just got to chase him. An armor Four minutes seems funny. like a long time, but the speed up clock will will come eventually if nothing happens here. So you got to remember to worry about the speed up clock, which is, I think, Zanxus is just, hey, I'm just going to dodge and run around until we go into sudden death mode. He's fine with that. He realizes his oh, strategy that sign didn't work went out. Right past his head. Oh, there we go. He dies with dignity, and we are tied at one to one. Moral victory to Zanxus. In in what way? He got the cartwheel off the edge. He he died on his own terms. Plus, anything that I can say, it's almost as good as tilting you. Anything that I can say that whatever Jester listens to the cast, that tilts him as well. Okay, and you wonder. You wonder why people <laughs> say these things. No, Such I mean, it, it was definitely a good match out of Jester. Um, that diabolical trick actually put down some humongous pressure, and clearly Zanxus lost everything. The baby and the bathwater. He didn't get either. See, both both times, though, the straightforward play has out, has beaten the complicated Enviro deck plan. Um, we'll see if that continues. But on lane, I, it's definitely one of the maps known for some of that funny business. Some, some hang spots and jump spots. Well, yeah. I think he could probably put down an Enviro in a couple easy places that Zanxus may not be able to get to by himself. Uh, do you think he's going to do another Enviro strategy, or after a straight-up win that he might he might want to slap fest, just hash it out? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know Jester came into this not super confident, so he's probably going to be willing to pull just about everything out of the broom closet here. So it's very possible that he plays something weird, just hoping to throw Zanxus off. Because I know he doesn't feel confident in the one, like in the fight. At least that's what he expressed. Gotcha. See, and I think he's been a little hard on himself. I don't know why he's turned into the broom closet. He's already avoided the clean sweep. I'm hurt that you didn't give me anything for that. Sorry, I was yeah. trying to make sure I executed properly without shooting anyone. I've done that a couple of times, you know. I, I know you have. It's because you run around to, like, position yourself as if two seconds of an angle is going to be better than just not interfering in the fight. It's insanity to me. You're, like, not risk-averse enough. Well, I was trying to be more risk-averse right there. Crap okay. Baby. Well, you can still multitask. Active listening is a thing. Freaking doesn't laugh for jokes. Yeah, that's exactly what I tried to I'm let me about. down easy by saying he wasn't paying attention, but really, they're just that funny. <laughs> I feel how Zanxus does right now, <laughs> eating that giant willow. Um, Big aggression Zanxus. out of the alpha jumpers in this room here. While the beta Zanxus cartwheelers is just a, take a quick it. quick willow. That, that tiger strength is pretty good. But Zanxus is the one with the more balanced hand. Running Rean again. The heat is always going to make him Ooh, dangerous. A nasty flame sword too. Nice big sword flips the uh, life deficit. Just mistimes the oh, second sword. Oh, he should have thrown the willow right on top of him. Honestly, if I'm Although, if I'm Jester, I'd nice rather lose the Rian than the willow right now. So I think that's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, I was good dark hole either way though. Yeah, no, I'd rather have the willow. I'm sure he's got a second reincarnation in there. That or he's broken. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that hurts over. Oh, that Rian just barely within range. Nice big four damage. And Jester already back in a kind of a danger zone here. Um, he's playing a bit yeah, Jester loose. needs a reliable way to defend himself. No he panic on the sword. <laughs> that sword, not as good. Uh, Zanxus has got a lot of pressure. There it is. Yeah. Put the pressure on. There's no defenses. No defenses for uh, Jester, and you could tell he, it unnerved him a bit. He wasn't playing the yeah. fight that well despite being shieldless, and you could tell he was just 
a little rattled. Yeah, which is a shame because he got some big damage and some good shots in early. He was playing the lift game. He kept the angles, and then uh, once once Zinx has brought it over to his base, he kind of just let him let him take it. You've brought shame upon the Brotherhood of Jumpers. I, you and your Brotherhood can go jump off a cliff. Is what what you can do. This is the way. Really? Really? You're a little, little spoiler alert. I, spoilers for what choices? Spoilers for what? If I tell them, it'll spoil it more. Yeah, shut your face. Oh, great. I'm eating quantum amps over here. You know what? My, that's, that's twice where my back button has not gotten me a single Mephistos. It's kind of heartbreaking. Did that quantum amp hit you before my Scream of Evil did? Yes, it did. Oh, that's disappointing. You're what? <laughs> Just killing me before the quantum map get you something? And as I turn around to pay attention to the, to the game, I wasn't paying attention to. Everybody's in vibration range. <laughs> Wonderful quantum map game. All right, I think Jester's the one flash hole on running. Deck. Oof! Oh! Fire Gehenna's smashing those shields. This time it wasn't that Jester didn't bring them. It's that Zanxus has already smashed them. Another quantum map. And he already drops the fire of Gehenna as well. He just drops it. Like, my, I work, mean, if he, my work is yeah. done. The anti Kanye. He knows when enough is enough. <laughs> he's down a little in life, but he's good to go. Kanye must have trained Zanx as well. That's all I'm saying. The student has become the master for sure. <laughs> this tilts both of the players. Uh, Flesh hole doing work. But Jester is stacked up on attacks. He's getting some uh, damage in. He's whittling that life dead. He does have the vibration. Jeez. Is that not the gonna third get around flash this. hole? Yeah. It's the same. Uh, unless one of them was a dark hole. Eats some BS. No, um, no. One, that viral was three damage. flash holes then. So, I mean, they're both pretty low in their decks, though. Let's see if Jester has even more attacks, because Zanx is. I want to see if he has more defenses, because at some he point, definitely has he, a Tiger Zanxus Rian. is moving in with Tiger Rian, and that's going to And that's going to be, gonna be pretty day. brutal. All Zanxus has to do is go up into that lift. See, if oh, oh, he's got hyper dodge kick. on the hyper kick. Well, so now he's got some range, kick, right? You are a jumper. I would, I would go up top. If he's got the psycho burst, he's one shot too. Those cartwheelers, yeah. Which looks like he was trying to set up the whole point of the deck. A dazzle is gonna have a hard time getting through those shields. There we go. Broke something. Gonna eat some hyper kicks here. Unless he wants to trade the melee. What if this is all bait? Pulls out a perfect psycho burst. That's oh! a photon burst! Or a nice, huge photon burst. Zanx is Zanx going is for the panty the dropper, and Sardonic says, Yes, please, may I have another? See, Tiger Rian is gonna still be a problem, but. Oh! Oh, the dazzle! I was watching Jester. Did it break the debris and kill him? Is that what happened? It did. That's exactly what happened. Oh, I guess you Jester! Could say, uh, Showing up, we're going to a five-game series. Would you would you say because he died to a box that it was a good boxing match? Because eh. I wouldn't say that. That would be a horrible dumb thing to say. Why I would, say would you say that one was a stretch? That's that one's not good. Would you say you could hardly contain yourself at how bad it was? All right, I'll give you that one. <laughs> I'll give you that one. That one's a good pun. I gotta say, I, I will respect whenever you have a good pun, but whenever you come do the cast, it's like you come prepared with your absolute worst. You feel like I'm, com I'm coming prepared? Come on. I don't even prepare in my real life. Why would I prepare for this? Well, prepared or not, the product leaves me unsatisfied. Two stars. <laughs> so, it is just like my real life. <laughs> <laughs> Game five, we're going to Panorama, the coin flip map. I uh, and who's this is Zanxus's pick. I don't know. Oh, they also have the same rating. Oh, we are so even right now. Oh boy, this is coming a lot closer cray. than I thought it would. And you know, we talked about it in Club Baroness. Jester played Guinan so close, and everybody was surprised, and then he got you know demolished by Kanye. 
but he has done it before. You know, he beat Guy and See, he could pull I will off say, the big upset here too. I don't know if Jester always gets enough credit. He maybe not is not the most consistent player, and I think we've seen that if his deck works versus when it doesn't, or if there's matches even in this series where he's just absolutely folded. But when he's on his game, he is on his game. I don't play this game and these buttons are confusing. Well, we'll have to see. We saw the panty dropper on refinery. Will he run it here? I dropped my body in the elevator shaft. Zanxus is getting punished early for the low aura start, but he's just going to leave. He should be safe from the flame sword now. Jester keeping that high pressure up, though. He wants to keep the momentum. A crawler's attack. I like Ooh. it. I don't, but it's good for the moment. Oh. Guard of water comes Knew in that clutch. was coming eventually. See, crawlers is great here, but it's not going to work. You got to be careful. Some like sometimes crawlers spacing. will hit one of those couches and explode on you. Uh, but sometimes it'll hit those couches, get stuck, and keep making the sound. You know, I want to get into a meta free. discussion. Those aren't couches. What are those? Are those benches? Are they futons? futons? Bench futons. Cots. Yeah, it's for when you sleep in your office because you're working like 18 hours anyway and you don't want to go home. Am I the only one who does that? It's okay to cry here. This is a safe space. Is it? Because every time I'm, I <laughs> talk to you, not. I just get it's attacked. It's not a safe space. <laughs> it's really not. Like, it's a safe space. I tell you something confidential and that just gets put up in the Facebook group. Like, God damn it. <laughs> I put something uh, confidential in the Facebook group. Hold up. You got me doxxed, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> My address, for one. Oh, well, that was an accident. <laughs> when have I ever put something up confidential? Uh -huh. Like that time that you totally did that. <laughs> um, so I didn't realize great, it was visible in the picture. talking about the actual match. Um <laughs> which is a pretty even match. Zanxus has had to dig a little bit, but he definitely is on pace with the plus two He's and the, the ricochet. He's got the double heat on the ricochet. That is pretty dangerous. Unless Sardonic has an answer for that ricochet. Crawlers is great against uh, There's probably a flash a, hole in a there cartwheeler, somewhere, but, but not not on Zanxus in this moment on this map because there's just not going to be enough time for you to combo it. Um, if you bring this fight outside, I think you're going to get a little bit more use out of Crawlers. But as your mainstay attack right now, he's definitely, definitely got the flash hold now because he's moving down. A there. disadvantage. Yeah, he's baiting it. He's got three shields. Probably has two flash holes. <laughs> Which Zanxus, I think, knows because he stopped just randomly firing. I think they're both played behind a little patient now. Dark hole. <laughs> Ooh. Hi, <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, I was going to say, good dark hole, but it's a tip for those trying to block trade. Ricochet. You usually don't want to block right what's, after what's the, first the bounce. What's the pattern? Is it take a step back and then one to the left? I would just back say one, dodge left, one. the first round, stand still, and block the second. Oh, Ooh. now we get the Ricochet Sword combo. Jester's in a very dangerous life position. And if he still has that dark hole, uh, you can't really. Oh, he jumped down on top of him. What is he doing? The madman. Oh, if he had gotten that ice sword. Could have maybe turned that into something. So ice sword, bullet of fire. I can't believe though. I don't he just jumped down at him. Hey man, go all out. Catches the flame the sword. Still knows he's got. Oh, the lightning. Sanxus has already picked up another attack. This ricochet in here could be lethal. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there it is. Catches him. Yeah, that, that plus two ricochet. Uh, I mean, that was just a huge swing. Zanxus closes good, good, it out pretty hard, but that was a fantastic series. series. We get to go to five games. Uh, congratulations to Zanxus on his semifinals qualification. And a big thank you goes to Jester for his participation in this tournament and making quarterfinals. Very good match all the way around.